Good morning. It is Friday, September the 30th, the last day of September. There'll be more leaves changing all the time now. And the sun came out just there for a minute. I'm going to be busy this morning cleaning inside the camper. And then this afternoon I'll drain the water lines. And this morning I'll probably do some more things here on the porch. It's about 56 degrees out here this morning. I got up about 7 and turned the heat on in the camper. Let it warm up. I'm skipping yoga this morning. Um, I just got things to do and I want to save my energy for that. I could have gone down, but uh, I'm just partially lazy too. I like stretcher size better than yoga. The Land Harper flag is flying there this morning underneath the American flag. It was raining at David's on uh, Wednesday. I think I showed you the couch the other day after it was taken out of the box and we got it together, but it looks better now. It was kind of wompy the other day. Kind of funny looking because it had been folded up in the box. Now it's had time to kind of straighten out. I think it looks better and it's very comfortable. The afternoon is moving along. It's 61 degrees. Betty came over and helped me get the cover on the golf cart. And I just put the bench beside of it and push the table up against it on the back. Maybe help hold it. I tried to tighten the drawstring on the bottom, so hopefully it'll stay on there. And I, we went back to the shuffleboard court, and people were just starting. When we got, we were the first ones there, and uh, we put uh, Larry's shuffleboard name tag back where it belonged. And then the people started to come in to play shuffleboard. And then I went back to Betty's and we got the suitcase in her car. Hers is all packed. And now I came back home to drain my water, but she was going to have, Jan was going to come over and visit. The flower pots are so heavy to move, I'm just dragging these five back under the porch here where they'll be out of the weather. And the other five we'd already put in the shed. But I think these will be okay under there for the winter. There they are. All five of them are moved. All the flowers have been moved and stored under the camp, under the porch. I saved the pink one, two pink ones to take home and plant in a pot. And Betty took the red ones. I think I'll take this pot home to plant them in. I took off the hose that had the water that ran into the camper. So it's drained and curled up and put in the house. Looks like the hot water heater is drained. The hot water was coming out of here, but it's all quit. There's the... Uh, Here's the drains. I just hook this hose onto the drain and then it goes on out. Um, put the ho extra hose so it doesn't drain under the where the retaining wall is. It all goes out in the yard. This one goes to the commode in the bathroom. Drains that water line. This is the drain to the washer, the hot and cold water. So I take that panel loose and drain it. Got the panel sl slung back out of the way. Hoses are still connected up there. like connected yesterday so guess they're draining. Water lines are all drained, so the next step is to blow out the lines. This is the, the little air mattress blower that we use to blow out the water lines. I'll show you how it works. It's really easy. Okay, this is what we do. Just turn it on. That's how we blow it out. Nothing to it. It just kind of fits on there and you put your hand around to stop any excess air. I'm ready now to put the antifreeze in the drains. I got three gallon. won't take that much, but I like to have plenty. But I think I'll probably wait and do that in the morning. All I have to do is just pour it in. I talked to Larry this afternoon and he said that uh, it was a nice funeral. If a, if a funeral can be nice, I suppose. And then they had fellowship afterwards. Well, that's been an exciting afternoon. Uh, Betty had to call 911 and the police because uh, 
person next door got in an altercation with her friend. So she had a lot of excitement. That was after I came home. Not long ago, I walked down to my friend Margaret's and because she just wanted to know about a, how to blow the, the lines out for winterizing. So I took her down my instructions and she came back up with me and looked at my blower. And I got some of the antifreeze put in. I'll do the rest of it in the morning. Good night. God bless.